Hi guys, so in this uh, video we're going to go over calibrating for level the flight controller. Uh, now you may not always have a flight controller uh, which is that easy to calibrate, it might be in your model. Your flight controller may already be in there and it might be a bit of a pain in the backside to pull that out to do a, a bench calibration. And I'm going to show you what you can do about that in a minute. But first of all, you're probably going to be at the stage anyway. You know, you're not going to build everything into your model and then start setting up calibrating. You're going to do quite a bit in front of you on the bench. And this is the first bit that we're going to be doing. We are going to be setting this up for level. And we're going to do it with an iron nav. And we're going to do it with a couple of wires hanging there. Because you may, uh, you know, started doing this. and But you really want to do this at the start and get this part out of the way so let's just plug in here I'll just get this up into a bit of a natural thing it doesn't really matter um, I'm not quite sure what this cable is like anymore so it might fail part way doing it because of the cable I'm just to swap the cables out I'm going to plug it into the point of and um, just give that a few seconds so it knows it's there Dun, dun, dun. It's taking its time, isn't it? What's going on? Uh, there is something on this, and I'll we'll soon find out. Let's just see if it lets me connect. It's not going to let me connect like that. Um, manual selection, it says. Oh, skippy did it. Oh, that's a little bit weird. Oh, okay. Well, this could be um, a drive issue. So let's just let's just see if we can pressing the button here putting it in and see if we can DFU it okay it's happy with the DFU so let's pull it back out again and we're just going to try one time just before we adjust the, uh, the drivers and we're getting nothing okay this is something that you may experience it's just saying up there on the uh, left hand side look in red failed and then to open serial port okay that's fair enough this could be because now our drivers um, are not doing what they're supposed to do. That's fine. So what we're going to do then is we're going to just go into the machine here. And we are going to go into our settings. Uh, we're going to, uh, sorry, into the device manager. Open that up. And we're going to plug in again. Just the way it was. And we're going to see our device. Now basically what we want to do is we want to see our device in... The ports com lpd oh, we haven't got it there so what we're going to do then is we're going to go down the bottom here and we're going to find it down here and it's a serial bus devices and there's our sp sp racing for evo now we don't want that there we want that in the ports com and lpd lpt so we're going to do a right click on this and we're going to update the driver okay we're going to browse the computer for folders and we're going to um we're gonna let me pick from a list of available folders and here we go this is what we need now what board are we using here we're using the uh matic f405 so we don't want that uh, sp racing f4 f4 evo do you know i'm just going to go on the com part and hit next so let's take a check of that and now we want to see in the com port there we have now got the um, STM, ST Microelectronics uh, as that in the COM port. So that's quite good. We just get over, uh, run through that just in case it comes up with something else. That's what you want to do. You take it from the bottom down there and just bring it up into this uh, COM port here. And now if you can see on the screen there, it says COM6 is available for us to use. And there we are. We can move this around and our craft moves around just as it should. Excellent. Now we're going to go in and we're going to calibrate uh, the accelerometer. Okay, now as you can see on the screen there, you've got a, a it's grayed out. We've got step one, step two, step three. Doesn't matter which way around you do this, it senses um, what you're doing and it will adjust it for you. All right, so if let's say on this one the, the arrow is pointing to my right there and if we look on the screen just at the quad if i 
point the arrow to the right, you see it goes forward. It goes forward there, so our arrow is pointing in the right direction. So it should be quite simple for us to do this, but sometimes it's not like that. You've got to adjust the orientation of it. Okay, but for this particular one, you'll find out why I choose these boards, and part of it's because they're very easy to use. <laughs> yeah, I don't look for the most difficult boards. Now, this is the OSD, but the one that we're actually going to be switching over to is the um, the STD, which is the one that I would suggest if you're going to buy one of these, buy one of them, because they, they work, and they've got everything that you need, so you can set up your GPS, you can buzz everything, everything's on there enough uh, for all your connections, and that's another thing about these boards, a lot of it's all about the serial ports, how many things can you connect, uh, more importantly, so right, let's go through and we're going to do our calibration. So basically we're just going to move over here and this uh, this blue button now is ready to be hit and we're going to start the calibration process. So it's going to ask for the first step for it to be like this. Now there's a reason why I've got these three on here because when you've got wires on it's quite hard to get a, a flat level or anything. But I've got these three on here so I can just push it down. And I know this bench is reasonably, let's just shoot that out of the way, it's reasonably level. You know it's probably not going to be the most level bench. But it doesn't matter because when you're flying, look, even when it says like there's no real wind on the day, there's always a bit of air movement and the craft because it's hovering. Uh, and if you don't have it GPS locked, it, it, it's, it's, it's going to move a little bit. It's going to do this anyway. But if it's doing it too much one way all the time, that's when you can very easily use your sticks um, to to adjust that very very easily you don't have to have it on the bench or anything you can adjust that you can bring it back down do a few little stick stick tweaks put it back up in the air again yeah yeah it's about where you want it good and then you go from there so let's just do this calibration here so the first step i'll just say is the first one is up there so i'm just going to hold these down um like that personally and hit that so we're going to say okay oh let me just Okay, you wanted me to press it again. So we got that one. And now we're going to turn that over. Hopefully we don't have to do the whole thing again. And now you can see why I've got these three on here. It's because now I can turn that over. And you've got all the gizmos and components and devices on the, uh, the other side of the board. So now we're going to hit this one. Processing. We got that one. Uh, let's just go along with the same uh, way as the board. So we're going to put that down. And again, I can just press these down on here and get a pretty level, even though I've got wires and bits and pieces. And it gives me that like that. Uh, and then we're going to go upwards. Same here with this. Same thing. It doesn't matter exactly, but we've got a. We've already got any movement, you know, to, that way and this way because of these down here. I can keep it steady like this. So let's just process that again. Oh, I must remember to keep that in the middle. Uh, and now we're going to be going the other way round, which should be then this way and this is where we're going to have a bit of a problem but if you just have a box or something anything you see there's a little switch there's the button for the boot that you press underneath there you see this you got the boot button there uh, just there and we don't want to press on that while we're doing this so we're just going to put that down best as we can because you remember it's not going to be perfect it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be but you want to get it as good as you can so you don't have to be too um and that's about it again on this one because of the cable coming out here not the greatest on having a uh, right angle cable there but never mind it doesn't matter i'll do it on here i'll just turn that around just for ease of use and uh, just get these two set up with as much as i can and then just hit that so now we've got up on the screen there look calibration finished accelerometer calibration finished check if values have been saved all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to say okay to that we can see that's there, and uh, we are now just going to do a saving reboot just to ensure that that stays in the way that we want it. Okay. Okay, and the accelerometer calibrated is there if I can ever find. There we go. Acceler accelerometer calibrated. Uh, it's all good. And because I don't have any peripherals, peripherals on here as such, like um, a compass or anything like that, or GPS, but there's nothing else to calibrate. So basically, this is ready to fly, and it will self-level. You know, when you've got all the rest of the bits and pieces attached to it. Uh, 
So that's that. Oh yeah, and just before I forget about it, because I did say I'd, I'll tell you. You see this? Once you've got your flight controller in your craft, it's not going to be that easy to do this. But what you can do is while you're setting up this, one of the lovely things about this, you can go into what they call the command line interface, the CLI, and you can type in, um, just put diff, diff, all, and hit return. Now, what you get now in here is all of the adjusted variables because it's different and all. And what we've got here is we've got our, um, well, there's a whole bunch of pids and that, that, that's what's been set up and tuned for us via the um, selecting of the presets. They've been set up for us, but the part that we're gonna want to keep is the accelerometer. And that you can just copy and paste from here. You can copy and paste all of you. If once you've set up, I would copy and paste all of it. I wouldn't just copy and paste the whole lot back in if you're setting up fresh firmware, but definitely for things like um, your level, so the accelerometer, you don't have to set that up again. You can literally just save this in Notepad or whatever it is you want to save it in a text editor, and then you can copy these back for reference and just paste it by taking this, copying it, type, uh, just, just pasting it into the, uh, the, the command line here, and then uh, hit and return. Uh, you'll see it come up on here that it's adjusting the, um, the actual uh, accelerometer, and then save. And that's it reboot and that, you can use that then every single time so once you get that tuned up the way you like it up in the air bring it in load it into the um, cli and bring out those uh those accelerometer settings and then save them and you'll know them for that particular craft it doesn't matter what happens you can just um, um just recopy and paste those back in for every update even if it's a major update where they you know where you don't want to just be copy and pasting lots of stuff in. you can do that you can do the same sort of thing for your led setup the same sort of thing for your on-screen display setup rather than having to do it over and over again you just take all the settings all the different settings that you've made adjustments to when you started setting up from the from the base settings uh, which is diff all all the different settings all the all the differences made all of them and have them printed out on the screen and just take what you need when you set them again to make it easier for you